Good evening, Libra ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do is to go in and just give you another romance type reading. But basically, with this reading, I like to kind of show you what your options are, okay? So basically, with this reading, we're going to just examine how your romantic situation would be if you decide to maintain the status quo or if you decide to continue on as you are, okay? And then we're going to look at how things might be for you if you decide to make a change in your romantic situation, okay? So I've decided to use a variety of cards here today, not only the tarot, but two advanced Lenormas deck just to give you some clues into what you might want to consider in making your decision, okay? So Libra, I like to first start off by just welcoming any new viewers or subscribers to my channel. I certainly appreciate your subscriptions, okay? And those of you who are loyal to this channel, I certainly appreciate that as well, okay? So Libra, keep in mind that this reading is not going to resonate for all Libras out there, okay? But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope that it does offer, you know, food for thought here. All right. So the first question that we're going to kind of examine is where, in fact, does your heart lies when it comes to, you know, maintaining the status quo or, you know, making a decision to kind of make a change and go in a different direction here. All right. You have the will of fortune here, ladies and gentlemen. So that certainly suggests that many of you have decided that it's best for you to, to take a risk, to make a change, to improve your current situation here, okay? And now let's just look at the energy that seems to be coming in, you know, forward to you, for you guys here, okay? We have, I just want to make a few general observations first, and then we're going to, you know, move right along into this um, reading here, all right? I feel that certainly, you know, although that your heart is kind of set on moving in a different direction here, this reading, especially the cards, you know, that I'm showing here, um, it shows a lot of worry and strife. I'm seeing a lot of worry and strife connected here. All right. And I'm also seeing here that there are no pentacles in your reading here. So that it suggests that your situation appears to be very unstable. You know, I, I feel that you know, unemployment issues or, you know, just a lot of financial problems may be affecting the situation. So much so that some of you may even feel that you've reached the poverty level in some sense here. All right. I'm also seeing a lot of struggles, a lot of conflicts, a lot of problems with others. You know, I'm seeing someone younger as well as someone older, too, that, that seems to appear here in your reading here. Okay. Also, you know, there are no wands there in your reading. So I'm seeing that, you know, your passion seems to be low. You know, there seems to be a lack of chemistry or drive or, in fact, direction here. I'm feeling a lot of, you know, back pains, a lot of nervousness and, you know, a really hesitation that seems to be going on. And I feel that many of you are kind of questioning what action will be taking, taken, uh, be it, you know, of yourself, or you might even, you know, kind of regard this situation as war, you know, you're, or you're waiting for someone else to kind of, you know, take action, I'm getting, all right? You also have two eights there because a star, one plus seven is eight, all right? And then you also have that eight of swords, so that gives you two eights. So when you usually see combinations, here in terms of seeing multiple numbers, it's usually it's, it's an element of surprises at work here, okay? And I'm feeling that a new insight is going to come into being for you guys. And But I'm also feeling, too, that there is going to be some type of a brief seductive interlude. You know, it seems like an ill-advised affair is going to come towards you. And I feel that you, if you don't watch yourself, you're going to be very disappointed or you're going to be very hurt by it, I'm getting, because this passing infatuation, it seems that it certainly can, in fact, bring about some type of guilt or, you know, self-loathing or something of that nature, okay? 
I'm also seeing that there are a lot of radical changes coming due to the presence of just looking at your cards here. You have a predominance of high cards that are showing here. And your numerical theme is 13 and 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, so it shows that you guys really want a stable situation here. All right. You want security, I'm kind of getting, and that can kind of flow in all areas, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So let's go on and just get right into this, and, um, and but prior to doing so, I like to also kind of, you know, say that it looks like I'm feeling that someone does have romantic interests or feelings towards you, and I think that his or her interest is going to be more so expressed via email or text or phone calls but i'm also seeing a lot of delays and cancellations surrounding you know maybe flights or airports for some of you and i'm feeling that again that i'm feeling that a lot of you are having problems sleeping and i'm seeing a lot of aches and pains here okay so now let's dive right on into the, this just to give you a bit more information you know from these tarot cards that i'm kind of seeing coming into being for you we have the Queen of Cups there, okay? So with the Queen of Cups, it connects with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I also sometimes connect this card with a Gemini, okay? This card is all about affection, you know, really compassion and empathy, you know? And it kind of shows, ladies and gentlemen, that there is certainly a need for you to try to open up your feelings a bit more and to try to you know, learn how to really trust your intuition and believe, you know, that believe the guidance that you're receiving here. All right. Now, with this Queen of Cups, it could represent you, um, ladies, or it could represent an aspect of your personality. Or, gentlemen, it also could represent an aspect of your personality. Okay. Or it's quite plausible that it could represent a mature, sensitive type woman who will, it seems, who will or might become very important to you, all right? An individual who will fascinate you sexually. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind that this reading is also valid for those of alternative lifestyles as well, okay? So I feel that some of you might decide to kind of show someone that you really love them, him or her, you know, despite past challenges. This person might even be a nurse or could be or work in social work or some type of healing or hospitality type profession I'm getting. I'm feeling the person appears to be very professional. And it looks like it's quite plausible that this person might even live, you know, kind of near you, not too far from you. All right. Because I also see you. It looks like I see you kind of desiring to kind of extend a romantic proposal. And it looks like you want to do so, it looks like to an exchange ex I'm getting. An ex whom you realize his or her worth. Okay? Let's move right along to the next card here. We have the star. All right? So with the star, that connects with air signs. Usually in Aquarius, but I also I always connect it with air signs. Okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? So with the star, of course, it brings about a lot of hope, a lot of care, as well as inspiration. So it shows that this person, again, possibly, you know, as I said, it, it, it seems that it's an ex. And I feel that this person seems to have brought many of you hope and inspiration, so much so that it's been arduous for you to kind of let go. But I'm feeling that a twist of fate seems to be in store for you guys, all right? Because I see that you see this person as the one, as your star, if you will. You know, perhaps even as your future. And it could be vice versa with how someone is feeling towards you, but this is in your reading, so I'm kind of feeling that you're more, more so feeling this way. And I feel that many of you really want to kind of reconcile differences, and you strongly feel perhaps there is still a chance there's still a glimmer of hope to kind of work things out. And it looks like it's more so associated with an air or either a water type sign that I'm getting here. All right. I'm seeing both an older and younger person. Okay. 
Let's move right along to your next card. We have the Page of Swords. That card connects once again to air signs. Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. This card is all about observation, surprises, spying. So I feel that many of you really, I feel you won't like kind of being attached, I'm getting, but it looks like you're going to some type of a karmic type connection and it's going to be very difficult it seems for you to forget it forget this person i'm kind of getting here okay either you or this person could be spying on one another be it through facebook or simply asking mutual friends about you know the other or or you're just finding other methods to do so you might even be riding past the person's house okay so I feel that while a new beginning seems to be possible, it looks like, um, Libra, you're going to certainly have to alter your stance, you know? You're going to have to open up a bit more and stop pretending, okay? Let's look at your next card here. We have the Eight of Swords, ladies and gentlemen. So, of course, with this card, it's all about denial and self-loathing. And once again, it connects with air signs. Why don't we just do both of them together? We have both the Eight and the Nine of Swords, and they're both connecting with air signs here. With the Eight of Swords, Jupiter is in Gemini, and with the Nine of Swords, Mars is in Gemini. So it's a lot of Gemini that seems to be lurking throughout here, all right? And you're kind of fearing the worst. You may even be in a depressed type state here. But here again, ladies and gentlemen, you're still feeling, I still feel a sense of you're feeling blocked. Maybe even the person may have blocked you. The person, uh, the person that you would like to connect with may have blocked you or it may have silenced you in some way. I'm kind of getting because you have those blockages cards there and you're just worrying a lot and you really don't know what to do and you really don't know what to do in terms of how to change things. Okay, I feel that many of you are certainly fearing the worst, but understand that with this nine of swords, you see all of those swords there. None of those swords are touching this person or this 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 uh, this human here in this um, picture. So you might be worrying a lot about nothing. Okay, of course, your worries. I'm sure. Because of the things that have happened, you know, you can't do anything but worry about it. But you have to kind of get out of your head that I'm kind of seeing with this card. All right. I'm feeling that some of you are hoping that you haven't lost someone forever, you know. And I feel that the two of you might also, you may also find yourself the reason why it's difficult for you to talk. Or if you have been talking, I'm feeling that. I'm seeing a lot of blaming, you know, finger pointing. And you've kind of, it seems that you're, you put yourself in more of a no win type situation. So you might need to kind of break the ice here or just take a break and just figure out what it is that you really want. Because I feel that there is, it seems a chance that you and another will reunite soon. And it looks like that it's, it's going to happen during the winter type periods here. And of course, we are quickly approaching those months here. Well, we're actually in it now. All right. So why don't we just go on and just examine what will happen if you decide to continue as you are or in fact maintain the status quo without making any changes here. Okay. And we're going to use these cards to address it. Okay. We have the woman. All right, we have the lily, and we have we have the um, the the sit there. All right, so just to make a few general observations off of those three cards, this her, I'm certainly seeing an older female, you know, and I'm seeing a female who appears to be very very established, even in fact spiritual. But I'm seeing some type of an injury or an accident. Or that you may be finding yourself involved in some type of a stressful type situation. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of sexual aggression. These are just the, in, you know, just general energies that I'm kind of picking up on here. But let me get into more specifics here. 
We're going to start with the woman there. And so again, this denotes a woman. And, and ladies, it, once again, it could be you. Or possibly a woman who will enter the picture, okay? It could even be a mistress or a third party who might be involved in your situation too. But in any event, I feel that she represents... This woman represents... She's an air sign I'm getting. And the moon governs this card. And then next here we have the lily. So with the lily, Saturn governs that card. And once again, it connects with air signs, okay? Libra, Aries. I'm sorry, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So I'm kind of feeling that with this card, it's all about peace and contentment. And I'm seeing both a male and a female with very dark features. You know, they seem to be a bit older, I'm kind of getting here, you know? And then you have the sit there, all right? So with that, once again, an air sign, okay? So air seems to be very, a predominant energy I'm getting from many of you. So with this card, that all about separations and rejections and hurtful choices here. So do you see that by just looking at those, that energy there in terms of if you were to decide to kind of maintain the status quo, it doesn't seem that it's going to make you happy, I'm getting. It seems there's a lot of negative things here. So it seems that there is definitely a change that many of you need to do. All right? So let's see what the story would be with those three cards combined here. So I see that an opportunity is going to arise that would kind of give you a chance to, you know, have a relate, many of you a chance to have a relationship with an older person. I'm getting but I'm feeling that you better, it seems that you better really think twice because this would be, it seems like it's a dangerous situation I'm getting and a painful se separation will certainly occur. It looks like it is with a female, you know, because there's that woman that's showing there, an older female. All right. So let's figure out why you're getting such a negative message here in terms of the energy that seems to be coming towards you as well as you can see how a lot of this is really still echoing what i'm what i kind of saw there in your tarot cards all right so let's look at these cards to kind of see why what we're going to do now we're going to look at um, the past or the basis of the matter or basically something that if you haven't already experienced yet you will experience but it usually connects with the past all right so we have the spirit, the man, the bear, okay? We have the moon, and then the heart bear is our significator for this reading. So let's start with the spirit. So basically with the spirit card, this certainly tells you, ladies and gentlemen, that you're not alone. And it looks like that spirit has been kind of telling you all along that you really know what to do, but you may have allowed yourself to continue on in a situation that you knew was not good for you, okay? It tells you that spirit is there helping you. Some of you may have lost a loved one or someone that's closely connected to you. And this card is telling you that this person is, is certainly helping you here. So really trust your intuition and connect more, ladies and gentlemen, to your spiritual center. All right. And next we have the man. And so with the man that connects with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And the sun governs this man. All right. So, for you gentlemen, this this card could certainly represent you, all right? Or for you ladies and those of alternative type lifestyle, it could represent a man with whom you had some dealings here because, again, it shows in the past, all right? Next there, we have the bear. So, with the bear, Jupiter governs this card and it connects with earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And with the bear, as you would imagine, a bear is very powerful. It's all about strength. It's all about finances. Okay? It's all about, ladies and gentlemen, endurance here. Okay? And what sits right next to it, we have the moon. And with the moon, that represents water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So with the moon, this card is all about our affection towards one another seduction, you know, feelings. 
And of course, the heart card is our significator for this reading. Okay? So, I'm kind of getting here just looking at the past or basis of the matter. I'm kind of feeling that many of you came in contact with a very powerful or controlling type person here. And perhaps there may have been some type of financial stability, instability here, okay? But I feel that you were very passionate about this person here. So let's go on and just try to create a story here with these cards to kind of let you know what I'm kind of feeling here. So many of you really wanted to kind of establish a more meaningful relationship with a very powerful, I'm, I'm, you know, authoritative type male or someone similar, okay? And this could have, it seems that it may have been with, you know, an ex or someone new, okay? And you felt that the two of you really clicked and you appeared to have and you might be still relishing, you know, the moment to kind of feel that cloud nine feeling. You know, to kind of fall in love again that I'm kind of getting here with that person that I'm kind of seeing here. All right. So let's see again what ha what the future is going to bring should you continue to stay on this path. All right. Without making any changes. You have the clouds, the ship, and you have the whip. All right. So with the clouds that connect connects to both Neptune and Mercury. And again, air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So the clouds, of course, brings about a lot of frustration, a lot of delays, as well as confusion. Next there, we have the ship. That connects with Jupiter, and, you know, it's associated with fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So with this card, as you could imagine there, it's all about adventure, travel, you know, movement. And then we have the whip ending there, which is not really a good card here, ladies and gentlemen. That connects with Mars. You know, Mars is all about sex as well as Pluto. And it connects with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this card entails a lot of conflicts, you know, fights, painful endings, as well as divorce here. So I'm going to create a story here to kind of show you that should you continue to remain on the path that you're on without making any changes, this will be the likely outcome. So if you, just, again, I, I feel that I see more problems ahead that you're not, you, you, you may not be aware of, you know. Something will be off in your relationship I'm getting and Some of you might even be involved in a long distance type um, situation or get involved in that. But in the final analysis, you know, I see a lot of violence, a lot of fighting. Should you remain on your current path? I see a lot of vicious arguments, you know. Even legal things that might kind of crop up as a result of all of the fighting and things that you might experience with this person. This situation I'm getting here, if you remain on this path, it seems to be very toxic for you. I also see a very tiresome trip that some of you may also be planning that might also be in the works here. All right. So Libra, let's go on and just turn our attention to what happens should you decide to make a change. And it seems to me that it might be in your best interest to do so. All right. So let's see how the journey will, in fact, begin here, okay? And we're going to go on and examine these cards here at the bottom of the deck here, all right? Now, first, I'm going to examine the anchor, the garden, all right? And we have the clover, as well as open lips there, all right? So with the anchor, okay, I'm, I'm certainly seeing that if you were to go on this path, I'm certainly seeing a very, very adventurous social lifestyle. You know, I'm also seeing some of you may even start working with the public, you know. I'm seeing opportunities that are just going to come at you, you know, left and right here. And even opportunities connect with others, you know, through, you know, uh, social forms or networking. 
I'm seeing even a happy gathering or a reunion with someone of some sort from a person from whom you've been estranged. All right. So with the anchor here, we're going to get started with that. Again, it connects with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And Saturn and Neptune governs this card. And this card, again, is all about stability, you know, wanting to kind of settle down. It's all about perseverance, okay? The next card here, we have the garden. And with the garden that connects with Venus, once again, ladies and gentlemen, air signs, as well as fire signs, okay? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And with the garden, that connects with crowds, you know, public and parties and celebrations of all sorts, all right? And then we have the clover. With the clover that connects with fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And with the clover, as you would imagine, it brings about hope, success, as well as luck, all right? And since I'm using a more advanced Lenormand's deck, where this is one of the more... Um, one of the cards that you wouldn't ordinarily see in the uh, normal Lenormand's deck. We have Opalence here, the card 37 there. And with Opalence, that shows a sense of success. It shows contentment, all right? So I'm going to just consolidate these cards to give you a story of the energy that seems to be coming towards you. Again, should you make a decision to alter your stance and move in a different direction. So many of you will have a myriad of social opportunities coming your way in this direction, I'm feeling, you know? Not only will you meet a charming new lover at a gathering of some sort, it could be a party or, you know, a celebration or just some type of event where, you know, a lot of people are kind of gather, okay? I feel, too, that you're going to also have a chance to really reconcile with an estranged lover. Because I feel that the possibility of getting or either extending a second chance appears to be imminent if you move on in this direction for some of you. Just be careful I'm kind of getting with this person, this new person that you might meet at this party because he or she appears to be very promiscuous and don't get your hopes on thinking that this person wants to settle down because it doesn't appear that he or she does. This is a party type animal that I'm kind of getting. All right. So now let's just get more on into your reading. Okay. We already going to see what energies are possible. So let's see how your journey will begin. Should you decide to move along in this direction here and the cards that we're going to be examining here, we're going to examine the house. All right. The crossroad, the fox, and the lily. Remember the heart card there is your significator. So let's start with the house. With the house, the moon governs this card and connects with earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So again, this card is all about stability and various domestic affairs here. Next here, we have the crossroad. With the crossroad, Uranus governs that card and again, it connects with air signs, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And of course, with the crossroad, it's all about decisions. It's all about alternate paths here to take. Even lawsuits and stall situations and solutions to problems. Okay? Next there, we have the fox. And with the fox, that connects with Neptune. Okay? And fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. I'm seeing a shorter person in this reading. You know, someone that's potentially bisexual, I'm kind of getting here. Okay, that's kind of showing up in your reading. Or kind of dress differently. Okay. And then the next card here we have, we have the lily. All right. So with the lily, once again, that Saturn governs that card and connects with earth signs. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this card brings about, about a lot of you know, maturity as well as contentment, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So let's go on and just, you know, kind of give you a story here of what I'm kind of seeing. I'm feeling that many of you really wanted desperately to kind of establish a meaningful relationship but had to step back from the situation I'm getting or someone step back from you, likely due to 
it seems to be too much cheating, infidelity. And I feel that as a result, ladies and gentlemen, the two of you parted ways or someone just suddenly stopped talking to you or just left you, I'm feeling. Or you could have done that to that person. For some of you, I'm kind of feeling certainly that it certainly was with an older person. I'm feeling that it's a shorter person that I'm kind of getting here. So a person that's very stable, a person who appears to have been very family oriented, oriented, a spiritual type person here. Okay? And I'm feeling that some of you even might even have gotten tired of waiting for this person in some way, you know, after the separation. But I feel that you still care for him or her and kind of want to feel that connection once again, you know. And it does say that the reading is it's possible that it could happen. But it looks like that maybe some of you may have done something to this person to kind of cause that cause again the demise of this relationship, which it seems to have been due to a lot of cheating. All right. So let's go on and just look and see what your future entails. All right. We have the cat. We have the lady there and we have the rider. All right. So looking at the cat first, that car is all about being self-centered and being very selfish here, fickle, narcissistic. And because it sits so close to that woman card there in your reading, it shows that some of you may even try to almost come in contact.